Sacred Heart is on a roll. The Pioneers have won four in a row and are playing their best basketball of the season. Tonight, they meet in-state rival Quinnipiac. The Bobcats boast the league's most prolific tandem in Justin Ruddy and James Feldeen. It's an old Connecticut showdown, and it's coming up next. Jack. He wants to take it to the hole, Cap. And he does. Again, that's deep post position. He's the Bobcats this season. Baker for Brookings, the bucket, and the foul. Taller lineup than they started with. Brookings down to always got himself five points. Excellent feed by Feldeen, but the play was made by a cross screen. Excellent job, James Johnson screening across to free up Brookings down low. We're tied at 10, and Ryan Howard sticks a three, his second of the night. Sahan cutting off the opponent, and here comes the steal. Stan Dulea loses the handle, and then comes up with the save. Gibson, 4-3. You see the confidence that Dave Fike instills in players. You come down. The bounce pass for Baker, the bucket and the foul, and we may get three the conventional way. Geffen for three. Geffen has done an excellent job so far keeping Quinnipiac right there in this game. Long Hassan leads the break for Joey Henry. Oh, that was just a great job by Corey Hassan right there. Fun so far in this game, they're right there tied, and he hasn't played good pass. That time by Whitkey dropping it off to Henley right in front. Five seconds to go in the half. Thompson knocks it down. And back comes Geffen. He's got Baker. Rejected by Hardy, but that's a goal 10. There's Ruddy. Will he get something going? Over Joey Henley. That's the first move of the night. And you knew he was going to come back to the right shoulder. It was just a question of when. He passed up on the three, doesn't get the two, and then Ruddy smacks it down. It's finally developing that way. Pass him for a three with 11 points on his third triple of the night. Double team, hard double team by Ryan Howard. There's an adjustment. Hardy in trouble. Check it, Ruddy. And on the lay-in, it is Jeremy Baker with nine. Excellent ball movement out and of the Here's the leaner and the tip in, and Joey Henley cleans up the Hassan miss. With 11 rebounds to boot. Feldeen for three, he's got nine. Looked like Ruddy may have just lost the handle as well. Johnson for three. How about that stepping up the swing of the pass by Jeremy Baker and that freshman growing up as this season's gone along. That was Sacred Heart to go along with 16 points, but right now, the Pioneers have the ball down by three, so they go to Henley, the bucket and the foul. He's got a chance to tie it. 3.15 to play. Feldeen catching shoot for three. Again, Zajac, we've seen that battle all night. Gives it up for Hassett. The floater ties the game. He's got 17 by Litke. Here's Johnson on the pull up. He's got 10. Check it, Baker. Yeah, do I call Got to hurry, Tim. Got to work quick here, second half. There's Howard. Knocks it down. Anyways. There's Hassan. For three, he is fouled. The bucket and the foul. And the Pioneers have tied it unless they wave off the basket. And it looks like Billy McCarthy will wave off the basket. And they do. So the Pioneers have to hurry. 10 seconds to go. Hassan, an NBA three! <laughs> and he knocks it in. Bad luck for the Pioneers. Here's the baseball throw. And that is it. And so Quinnipiac survives 66 to 64. Feldeen. You've played basketball in the Bronx. It seems like it was a Bronx uh, brawl tonight out there. Yeah, it felt real good. I love this environment out here. Sacred Heart is always our rival every year. And it was a big crowd because MNG was here, but it felt real good this game. Well, your team is starting to get healthy now. You got a couple of key players back, Brookings, uh, Baker. What did that do for your club tonight? I feel like for the core guys like me, James Johnson, Justin, 
it felt like we got a relief as soon as we found out they were coming back. Like a lot of pressure came off our shoulders. We knew we had a lot of people. I was gonna get subbed out a lot. I know I didn't play like 38 minutes like I'm usually playing. So it felt real good. I didn't feel tired sometimes. Like I'm always, I'm always tired, but it felt real good today. All right, thanks a lot, James Feldina. Double-double and Quinnipiac gets the W. Now it's time for holding court. And earlier today, my partner, Tim Capstraw, had a chance to speak with a Sacred Heart legend and his son. It's a family affair today on Holding Court as I got the Steve Zazuri's. Steve Zazuri, the father, and Steve Zazuri, the son. And uh, your dad was the all-time leading assist leader in the history of Sacred Heart University. You're now a member of the Sacred Heart team. You're a point guard, just like your dad. Was there ever any doubt in your mind, Steve Jr., that you would attend Sacred Heart University? Um, no, not really. Watching him on tape, come, we came to a lot of games when I was a kid. I know Coach Bike pretty well. We actually came to a couple of practices and they were, when they recruited me. Just felt like the right decision to come here. Oh, how about that? Amazing, right? The same coach that coached your dad is coaching you right now. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, it's nice. It's nice knowing him. It, it's nice coaching with him. It's weird in practice, though, sometimes when he's yelling at me, calling me, call me Stevie and everything. When I know he called him Stevie. <laughs> yeah, a little flashback there, yeah. right? Hey, here's my big question to you. Yeah, I know you had to work with him all the time. Now I'll ask, I'll ask both of you this question. First time you ever beat your dad one-on-one. -on -one. Well, he, w he stopped playing me after my junior year when I was getting a little bigger. Every time I asked him to play, he's like, he'd always say I'm tired. He would never actually play me. <laughs> yeah, so I'm undefeated. Yeah, yeah, you, 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 you retired. I quit early, early. right. <laughs> Great move by you. Talk about the feeling of seeing your son out on the floor and not only on it, playing college basketball, but playing college basketball for Sacred Heart. Uh, it's a very proud moment for my, you know, my wife and myself and you know, all our kids. We have five additional uh, siblings, so uh, yeah, we have a big family. So we come to all the games, you know, we watch on TV when he's away, or we listen to the internet, or whatever it is. You know, we're nervous. Um, I, I'm kind of, you know, watching the team as a former player and a father, so it's, I get a different feeling, you know, wishing they would play the way we used to play, you know, right, saying, right. why aren't they running up and down the court like we used to run up and down the court? And, uh, you know, always questioning, you know, what is coach thinking about now, you know, because I, I used to know what he was thinking then. Yeah, yeah well, here's my question to you that you have a personal relationship with Dave Bike. He said you guys are very close. Yeah. Uh, do you ever get the urge to give him a little call no, and say, what's no, going on with my son no, or we, what's going on here? We talked about that uh, during the recruiting process. I said, for four years, you're not even going to know who I am. No. You know, it, it, we talk on a personal basis, but it's never um, about Stevie. You know, it's always, uh, if it's a family issue or a personal issue, you know, a friend issue, but it's never, you know, or a po political issue, which we get into those discussions. <laughs> get ugly, huh? Oh, yeah. But it's never, uh, never about him or basketball. Well, we well, keep that separate. Well, the coach hasn't changed here at Sacred Heart, but there's certainly been a major transformation into this uh, beautiful university. Right. Uh, the Pitt Center is gorgeous. You know, we wish we had the, the opportunity to play back in our day. We think we would have filled it up a little bit more than maybe these guys are filling <laughs> it up right now. Um, but, you know, again, the shoe box was special. And as I was telling you, you know, before, it was always a great moment when we heard the announcer ask the guys in the upper deck the last rows to open the windows because it was getting really hot in the gym. It, we knew we had a big game that night. Yeah, it turned the heat up. Everybody was fired up. The crowd yeah. was there. It was a great atmosphere, much like we we're expecting tonight. Yeah. Hey, great talking to you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Courts adjourned. Steve Zazuri Sr. graduated from Sacred Heart in 1984 with 956 career assists. And in fact, as a senior, averaged over eight assists a game. And now he assists in helping his son. Our <laughs> athletes are Quinnipiac tennis star Nicole Adams and outstanding Sacred Heart soccer player Matt Jones. Adams earned the NEC Scholar Athlete Award for women's tennis last season, while Jones received the same conference accolade for men's soccer. Look at those GPAs, 385 and 363.